Want to know how to register in Australia and New Zealand? Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to Farmers. In this video, I want to share with you guys how you can apply to the Australian Pharmacy Council and practice as a pharmacist in Australia being an internationally qualified pharmacist. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Patricia and I'm here to share with you the Australian application process for the pharmacy board registration. In all these videos that I do, I need you to remember that there are always two streams to apply to. Having a registration with the pharmacy board in any country doesn't necessarily guarantee you getting immigration with that same country. Those two separate streams usually need to be applied separately, but in some cases there is a bridging or facilitated approach by the council giving letters, for example, critical skills or something similar to facilitate the immigration process. The Australian Pharmacy Council is the board that registered pharmacists in Australia and they're the ones that deal with foreign applications. So you'll first have to do a document evaluation and they will check your pharmacy degree if it's a B Pharm, an M Pharm, or a Pharm D and which country you obtained it in. If it's a country like New Zealand, Australia, Canada, the UK, the US, then you will qualify for stream B or the second stream which goes to a competency exam, the COAP exam, or if you come from or if you qualified in a country that's outside of those first countries listed, you then have to do the CAPS exam, which is the knowledge-based assessment. So the costs for both of these are $1,910 for the competency exam and $2,190 Australian dollars for the CAPS exam. To apply for the initial eligibility assessment, you will have to pay $1,290 Australian dollars. This process can take up to eight weeks and then you'll be directed to the next streams. Once you pass your CAPS exam, as with the case for people from South Africa or elsewhere, you then will receive a letter that you can then use to apply for immigration. To pass the CAPS exam, you need to do paper one and paper two. They're both 100 questions, multiple choice, and they deal with topics like pharmacology, pharmaceutical chemistry, and therapeutics and pharmaceutics. Once you pass your CAPS, you can then get your letter from the Australian Pharmacy Council and you use this letter to apply for immigration with the Department of Home Affairs. There's usually about three test sittings in a year. You can check on their website, also very easy and comprehensive as to when the exact dates are. And I believe you can take this exam outside of the country. So they have little centers that you can also check which would be your closest center and take the exam there. Remember what I always say, you guys, traveling the world and experiencing different countries is a must. It's on, it should be on your bucket list so I strongly encourage many of you to go this route. Explore the world, go register in a different country, learn something new, experience something new, and grow your mind, expand your horizon, and become such a well-rounded person altogether. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you found value, click the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not yet, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.